cow, guys. Oh, there we go. We're set up. Oh, it smells finally. Just started rolling, guys. Just got set up. Literally just got set up. There are teal everywhere. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Me and Freddie, we overslept today. I overslept today. Uh, I wasn't feeling the greatest last night, so boy howdy, I'm glad we made it out here. It is sitting right at 7.45. Uh, I have seen a, a countless flocks of teal. Um, I've had two flocks uh, decoy as I'm throwing decoys out. Um, we just got the cold front, as you can tell. Uh, man, it rained all morning, all last night. It finally shut off. I actually had to wait because it was just raining constantly and it just let up so we're set up late in the morning after the rain tons of birds flying around wish us luck uh right off the bat guys come on smash it another solo hunt yes we got frederick not judge the new dog i've been working with judge getting him freshened up ready to go he'll be hunting extremely soon but it is cold out 52 degrees right now Extremely ducky weather. This is awesome. Public land walk in, but here we go. See a group up right over there. Uh, in other news, I got another group up over there. I forgot my uh, my Benelli with the shot cam on it. Uh, this was the only 12 gauge that was in my truck. I don't prefer this gun, but I don't hate it either. It is my Rite Gordion with a Pattern Master. Y'all have been asking two questions where two questions two questions where's the retay and do you still use your pattern master we're going to use them both today flock up top we should be able to do quite a bit quite a bit of shooting today y'all lay down lay down oh this gun's a lot different boy goodness lots of birds wow I mean, just flocks of teal everywhere. There's two flocks over there right now. There's one, one flock right there. We've got so many birds overnight. This is awesome. Wow. I am so pumped up for this. You pumped up, Freddy, with them? Huh? Flock just went over. Big flock. Oh, my God. Flock out front. Come get in here. Oh, you gonna get in here? I'm gonna have to move the decoys a little bit. Oh my goodness, there's so many birds. I've seen over a thousand teal already, boys and gals. I have been waiting for this cold front. You guys have been waiting for this cold front. The birds have obviously been waiting for this cold front to actually start migrating quite a bit, and they showed up overnight. I knew we'd have some show up with this north cold front but not this many this is insane all right i'm gonna push a mojo out a little bit and we're gonna scoot back stay throw a couple decoys out there a little farther like that push this bad boy out here a little bit so they can see it better we should be in money oh right here right here right here Block of teal. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous, y'all. Oh my goodness, I could not be more excited. Thank goodness I just had a game plan, waited out the rain, and just showed up late. Forget it, just try it. It's gonna be cloudy. It's gonna be a long morning of flight. I wish I would've wore my waders. I uh, opted to wear my hip waders, and my butt is real wet sitting on the grass. out there just a little bit oh they're gonna come back around maybe oh, i should have took that shot there's, there's a guy over here he's been shooting quite a bit i mean they're just migrating tall tall flocks just migrating south this is awesome oh here we go on the left here we go ah Missed, dude. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Bobby guy. What are you doing with your life? Man, I thought I was going to get like 
two out of that first shot. I was like, oh yeah, definitely. Nothing there. Uh, fourth lock. All right. Well, if I could shoot a little better, I'm gonna blame it on the gun today. You all know me. I'm the king of excuses, right? <laughs> Uh, no, but thank goodness I had this in my truck. I had my uh, 20 gauge in the truck, but no, no shells for it. So I was kind of bummed about that, but we're gonna do a 20 gauge hunt here real soon. I gotta hit something, I gotta kill something here. There he is. Bam! Got one, that was a high bird, really high. I got a mark on him. Brett's gonna try to drive through these cattails. Let's see if he can do it. I'm gonna have to go find that bird though. Yeah, yeah, first bird down. Uh, Fred did not drive through the cattails. He landed in the water. Here, Fred, sit, 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 sit. Here comes a duck. Sit. Oh, big swings. Should be right on the other side here. There he is, we got him. Good boy, he, that's a good dog. That's a good boy. Drop, good boy. See, we're on the board. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I came today. Beautiful, extremely ducky day. Oh my God. There's another one. We got another one down. Yeah! Woo! That's what's up. There he is. Fred! Fred, dead bird! Alright, I gotta pick up my shells real quick. Fred! Fred, dead bird! Fred! Fred! Set! Dead bird! Uh, holy cow, they came right down this little lane. This is a good little spot too. Pick up them shells, guys. I almost forgot. Yeah! I see my duck, he's right there. This is a riot. Heel, we're here, here, here. Dead bird. There you go, finally, buddy. Good boy, hold it. Good boy. <sighs> Hold. These are not my shells. These are Kent. I don't shoot Kents. I'll pick them up anyways. All right, we got to get sat back down. Two birds. Yeah. Right there. Come on now. Come on now. You know what to do? Let's get this video as high as you guys can. How about that? However high, however many likes that you guys want on this video, show me, please. Thank you, this feels amazing. A hoodie, yesterday it was 100 degrees. Today I'm in a hoodie loving it. Hunting ducks with my dog. Two birds in, let me check the time real quick guys. Uh, cloudy days, cold fronts. You can hunt really late guys. Birds are moving late, 8.16. 8.16, we just sat down 15 minutes ago. And uh, these type of days, get out there, just go. Just freaking go. Um, doesn't matter if you're late, just get out there. These are uh, these are the best days, honestly. These are the best days. Really quickly, I wanna tell you guys, over at my podcast, Blind Talk Podcast, it is popping. Uh, we're giving away lots of different stuff. We have new sponsors for the podcast that are donating product to give away constantly, like the high and dry utility poles all sorts of stuff so join my podcast check it out all sorts of awesome content all sorts of awesome special guests one episode a week at minimum uh, and i'd love to see you over there uh, everyone over there thank you guys for always supporting me it helps me a lot plus i can be myself over there i can say what i want i can talk about what i want you know the deal plus at sand hill flyways my guide service limited availability still uh we can uh, accept any father sons you know Two minimum, uh, up to eight. So we have a couple November dates, a couple December dates, a couple January dates, and one February date. Just want to let you all know. The podcast is always linked down below at the top of the description. 
as well as uh, Sandhill Flyaway's uh, website. All you got to do is go over there and fill out the inquire to book form and yours truly will be getting in touch with you to answer any questions for you, see if we can make something happen. Alrighty, it started to rain on us. It ain't gonna stop me and old Freddy from hunting. Uh, rearrange the decoy spread like I actually want it. Check it out. I'm right at 22 decoys is what I carried in. Uh, really short carry in today, only about 200 yards, so not bad at all. This is what I got. The wind is to my back, uh, walking forward here, but just put uh, the mojo in the center of the spread and just ran it really long. So I'm sitting over here. This way. So I see two ducks up. We better get sat down again. Oh, those are wood. Those are woodies. Holy smokes! All right, we just decoyed a five flock of woodies. Oh, they were really pretty, Mom. Oh, she hung up. Okay. I was on the phone with my wife. Oh, that was a real pretty flock of woodies, Frederick. So right there, guys, take your time. Identify them ducks before you squeeze the trigger. That could have been really bad. Oh, teal. One teal on the right. Are you going to get in here? Oh, here he is. Oh, really one shell in, Bob? Wow. How did that happen? I'm a mess today, guys. I am a absolute mess. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, right here, right here. There's two. Fred. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just smoked two. Nice. Oh, he dove on Frederick. Yeah. Right in the decoy, smashed him. Good boy. Here, 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 lay down, lay down, lay down. Coming right over the top, Freddy, right over the top. That was awesome. Dead bird. Yes. Oh my goodness. They decoyed. Perfect. The lens is completely wet, it's raining. Good boy, here, drop. Yes, beautiful flock, decoyed the whole thing. I'm shaking. Whoa, whoa, we're four birds on the board, baby. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of fun. I was really patient on that flock and they went out, just came all the way up in there. Pick a bird, guys, when flocks decoy like that, you just gotta pick a bird. Pick a bird, then pick another bird. Just going, oh my God, because you're confused. You ain't gonna ever hit a dang thing. Pick a bird. Good job, buddy. Lay down, lay down, right here, lay down. Good, good boy. That's a good dog. Big thumbs up for Freddy, come on now. He deserves it. This cool weather, he's doing awesome. Old Judge will be out here with us real soon. It's raining again. I couldn't be, we couldn't be two happier dogs. You guys gotta let me know, I'm not using the shot cam today because I actually forgot it. Do you guys prefer all the shot cam footage? Like, does it get old me cycling it in the videos all the time or do you just kind of like whatever? Let me know down below in the comments. Sorry about the rain on the lens. Uh, you cormorants, you got me, you tricked me. Here we go, here we go. Here's two, this could be our limit if I can shoot them. We are limited out. Fred, we are limited. Done. Holy cow. Good boy here. Good boy. <laughs> Woo! Back. Oh. oh my goodness. What would be even better if the last bird that he's bringing back had a band? Here, drop. Drop. No bands. Beautiful. Blues though. That's our limit. I can't say sorry for the rain on the lens because I can't control Mother Nature being awesome. Let me wipe the lens off. Alright, here's the damage. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, and six. My limit. There we go. All blues. Check that out. And there's just teal everywhere. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm going to get out of the rain, unload my gun, pick up my shells. Let's look at the time. The rain is really, really picking up, by the way. The time is 8.55. We sat down at about, I'd say a little after 8. I bet it was like 8.05. Then we did that first time check at like 8.15. So about a 50 minute limit, limit, 45 minutes. That's it. Come on guys. Can we get this video to 6K likes? If so, if you guys can do that for me, I'll do anything you want. Next videos coming up, anything you want, any challenges, 410, whatever. Bodie needs to get out here. I'm probably gonna bring Bodie out tomorrow or this weekend, so. Let me know guys. Thank you so much. This was amazing. Thank goodness I just pulled the trigger, got out here, didn't care what time it is. If it's cloudy and rainy like this, guys, especially rainy, get out there. Don't overthink it. Don't be like, oh, I don't want to get wet. We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting to get out here. All of us, me and you both. Till season is short here. It's almost over, so uh, get out there. Get it in. Even if you're not shooting a bunch, get out there. Just get out there. If you have the time, make the time, right? So, so it's beautiful out. Yes. He just decoyed with me standing out here. Completely landed. When it's raining, birds can't see very well. So, in the rain, definitely keep the mojos going. They can't see very well. Um, it's kind of like that first of the morning when it's dark. Same thing with the rain. They're fighting it. They're beating. They can't see very far. So <sighs> I just want to decoy. I'm probably going to just unload my gun, decoy some birds. I don't care how wet I get. I really don't. Been waiting for this. Sweating my buns off all summer long. Hating the summer. I love the summer. We get to go camping and go boating and stuff. But boy, do I, do I get sick of it quick. Here we go again. Here's a three pack. Guarantee we'll decoy them. Here they come. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good dog. They're closer to me than the decoys are. Oh, here comes four more. Holy cow. Frederick, what do you think? I think we're coming back tomorrow, buddy. Okay, we are going to pick up. Rain shut down a little bit, so I figured I'd bring you along with me. Y'all can help me pick up. Uh, I was going to reduce the number of floaters uh, to uh, about a dozen, um, but I, uh, it wasn't a bad walk. So I knew we weren't going to be walking nearly as far as the other day. Uh, so with it only being a 200 yard walk, it's not bad at all. It's really not. Um, now when you're, the other day I did a 936 yard walk. Uh, and that's one way. So they're in back. And I brought my big camera, my tripod, all these decoys, same decoy, same mojo, right? Backpack, it was too much. It was too much, about killed me, so. Um, the farther walk-ins, you know, that 900, 500 and above, I'll probably take a dozen decoys. If it's only 100, 200 yards, I'll take all 20, you know, two dozen, but just a little tip for y'all. You gotta stay light uh, on these walk-ins, really do. They do not allow any motor equipment to be used out here. It has to be all foot traffic. So you can have a wagon or a sled. Uh, I've tried a sled. And I'll tell you, and I know a lot of you have referred the, sl the sleds back in the day, guys. Me and my buddy Wade, we used one every time. And I'll tell you this, back then there was a lot more water. There was a lot more mud. Now it's just grass. Grass, grass, grass. So pulling a sled on dry grass, um, yeah, it's not that bad, but I 
just don't think you need it. You don't need that much, you know? You just don't need that much equipment. I've always said it, public land hunting guys like this, we don't bring a blind. One time I seen some dudes uh, in laydown blinds. They carted them in probably 600 yards. Way too much work. Go easy on yourself. I want to show you guys this before we go home. Check out the ducks carabiners. Got an awesome foam pad on there, really comfortable. When uh, throw it over your shoulder like this, just grip right there it makes it extremely comfortable. So this has been a lifesaver for me, honestly, on these walk-in public hunts. Rain's picking up again. Let's get out of here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Got it done today. I know. I know. I'm the best hunter ever. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Um, scouting. Scouting makes me good. Keeping my eyes open, scouting, putting in the time to scout um, over and over every year, hunting. You learn. Every year you get better, right? So, like I always love to do, especially uh, early season, is come back home and go over what I learned most today and uh, it's always something that will help you guys. You know what I mean? So what did I learn today so I can pass it on to you? Number one, uh, look, all Ducks gear. The new Ducks hoodie, the thermal sweats, uh-huh, waiter sweats with the cuffs on the bottom. Yeah, they're all new, brand new stuff. I'll, I'll I got a lot to show you in about two seconds. But biggest thing today, uh, this huge north cold front that was coming in is extremely late very 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 late it should have showed up a long time ago so what i'm getting at if you are ever debating if you should go hunt on the first cold front day there should be no debate you should be going if you have time to do so you should be getting out there because i will tell you right now the amount of birds that i seen today i had no clue i was going to see that many I, I knew that we would get birds with this front but you never really know get out there Go do it. Drive out there if it's raining, sit in your truck until it stops. Look at your radar and say, okay, we got a good window of opportunity, let's go. That's what I did. I'm like, you know, with it being this cold out, uh, rainy, the birds are gonna fly all morning. I bet you a lot of people won't be out there because it's a Thursday morning, right? I was right, it worked out perfect. So that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, cold fronts, cold fronts, cold fronts. If they are late and they're coming, get out there get it done it should be good Woo. all right i showed you uh the thermal waiter sweats they're awesome brand new uh, all this stuff that i'm going to show you is brand new the only thing that you guys have seen before two things i'll start with them all right this one i will start with you guys have been asking about it if it's going to be back in stock yes hurry and grab yours the old school thermal coat from ducks last year you guys seen me wearing this coat a ton and i will say extremely warm and i mean extremely warm guys if you're looking for a hunting coat for this entire winter duck season goose season or you just want an awesome old school camo coat get it use code bob at checkout when you use code bob it saves you a ton of money on all this stuff especially this one so that's that you guys have seen that you guys have seen this this is uh, what I was wearing today uh, on the hunt. Old school camo hoodie. Okay, moving on to the stuff you haven't seen. Look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. This is our signature camo, ducks, cupped ducks camo. Check it out, hoodie. Yeah, yeah. bad. Uh, check out this hoodie, brand new color. Bad, I love them. Uh, this is the matching thermal top base layer to the waiter pants. So, matching top bottom, boom, very warm stuff. Uh, the last apparel item, vest. Check out our new vest. Thick, thick and wooly, extremely thick. This bad boy will sweat you out. So, cold gear, guys, awesome. Dress up vest, very casual. Take it out, take the lady out in it, go hunting in it, get it bloody, dirty, whatever. Perfect. So, moving on to uh, three, four items that I'm extremely excited to show you. Starting off with the green, OD Green Ducks gun case. Oh, yeah. 
seals up very nicely. This uh, actually folds over and straps around, seals it up real nicely. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, little correction. The gun case, the new gun case, blind bag, which I haven't showed you and I will, shell holder and hand warmer. See her hands going here. And the waiter shell holder. All these new items will drop September 27th. If, you're, if it's already September 27th, don't mind this, but September 27th, all this new stuff will drop. This is our brand new blind bag. I really like it a ton. It Velcros and it zips, what I, I really like. It's got a bigger, uh, just one big pocket without all of the, you know, all the different dividers in it, which I really like. It's got a much bigger uh, waterproof see-through pouch to keep your licenses dry, your phone, whatever. It's got this new cup holder with a cinch. Really like that. Loving the new blind bag. This is gonna be my new favorite thing, my go-to. Hand warmer, it's got nice cuffs, comfy getting your hands in and out of. All you do, unbuckle, throw it around you. Boom, now you got a hand warmer right there, shell holder, big zipper to put your phone or whatever you need in there. This thing is legit. Very thick, soft, and warm. Last but not least, this bad boy clips on your waders, bam. It's got holders on front and back and a good pocket for your phone again, whatever you would like. Awesome stuff, guys. If you want to pick any of this up, the last four things I showed you, like I said, will be available September 27, 2022. Use code BOB, B-O-B, at checkout to save yourself some money. And when you do that, you help me out a ton. Thank you so much for always supporting Ducks and myself. We've been trying to bring you guys really good stuff, and I feel good about all this new product. I think you guys will like it. You guys really liked the old shoes, which will be back in stock shortly. I will let you guys know when. But remember, tell your mom, dad, friend, and uncle, anybody, especially when it comes to Christmas shopping or anything, remember to use code BOB. Why wouldn't you use a discount code when it's there and available? So tell everybody that don't know. Thank you, guys. Pessimist